Now, Singapore's primary four and secondary two students have topped an international maths and science study for the second straight time. The Education Ministry says this shows they're equipped to take on future jobs, particularly in the science, technology, engineering and mathematics fields. The study polled more than 11,000 students across more than 70 education systems and it's conducted every four years. So what are we seeing here? Well, students in Singapore achieved the highest mean scores across both levels and both subjects. They came in ahead of their peers in places like uh, Hong Kong and uh, South Korea, as well as Taiwan. Now, Singapore also had the highest proportion of students who achieved what's known as advanced level maths. It was the only participating education system to have more than half its students do so. Singapore had among the fewest students who were unable to master basic maths and science concepts, uh, only one in two, uh, one two two percent, compared with as high as fifteen uh, percent internationally. However, the study found that uh, Singapore students were less confident than their overseas peers. Only ten to twenty percent of them said they were very confident in each subject, and this may spell bad news as Singapore turns to innovation for its future economy. A person who had lacks of confidence will not even, you know, be daring to try much, and uh, will tend not to venture into that which is unknown. Uh, so it's going to hinder, uh, you know, innovation. So uh, we definitely need a workforce that is uh, not just competent in their core skills, but also competent enough to dare to try and the resilience also, uh, you know, in the midst of failure. So to boost a student's confidence, uh, teachers say existing maths curriculum helps them explore multiple ways to approach a solution. And this encourages them to take risks and learn from their failures.